Hi and welcome to the part 2 of video on RDBMS interview questions and answers from careerright.com. What do you know about asset properties of a transaction? Asset means atomic, consistent, isolated and durable. Atomic it means that the transaction is executed once in totality. Consistent means only valid data is written into the table. Isolated means a transaction runs in isolation and is not affected by the other transactions running along with it. Durable once committed the updates of the transaction persist. Database backup and transaction log helps in restoring committed transactions. Differentiate between delete table and truncate table. Delete table logs the deletion of each row while truncate table does not log the deletion of each row delete table is slower than truncate table what do you know about constraints constraints help the database system automatically enforce the integrity of the database different types of constraints are not null check unique primary key and foreign key explain cursors what are its different types cursors are like virtual table they have rows and columns as specified by a query current row concept of the cursor is a pointer to a row in the virtual table the different types of cursors are static dynamic forward only key set driven what are the disadvantages of cursors following are the main disadvantages of cursors a each time a row is fetched from the cursor it causes a network round trip two they are costly as they require more resources and temporary storage and the use of select statements is restricted with some types of cursors what is a join what are its different types joins in a query explain the relationship between different tables they allow the selection of data from a table based on the data from another table the different types of joins are inner join outer join and cross join how do you implement one to one relationships while designing a table while designing a table one to one relationships are implemented mostly as one and sometimes as two tables with primary and foreign key relationships how do you implement one to many relationships while designing a table one to many relationships are implemented by splitting the data into two tables which have primary and foreign key relationships how do you implement many to many relationships in table designing many to many relationships are implemented through a junction table which has keys from both the tables these keys from both the tables form a composite primary key of the junction table differentiate between a primary and a unique key by default a primary key creates a clustered index on the column while a unique key creates a non clustered index primary doesn't allow null value while unique key allows one null value tell us something about default are there some columns which do not entertain default values while inserting the data if no data is supplied to a column it uses some value on its own this value is called default value some columns do not entertain defaults for example time stamp identity etc tell us something about log escalation converting low level logs into high level logs is termed as log escalation low level logs are like row logs page logs etc high level logs are like table logs what are triggers triggers are special type of stored procedures when an insert delete or update action is performed on the table they get automatically executed can the triggers be invoked on demand no the triggers can't be invoked on demand they occur 
only when a related action occurs on the table. Which one would you recommend for referential integrity check? Triggers or constraints? Why? I would recommend constraints for referential integrity checks because they are faster. What are stored procedures? Stored procedures can be explained as a set of pre-compiled TSQL statements ready for execution as per the requirement. They can accept input parameters and return output parameters. They can also return status values to the calling procedure indicating failure or success. What are the advantages of using stored procedures? The advantages of using stored procedures are being pre-compiled, they increase the speed of execution. They increase modularization in programming. They help in reducing the network traffic. What is the effect of stored procedures on network traffic? Stored procedures help in reducing the network traffic. The call is now sent to the stored procedure rather than sending many TSQL lines embedded in these procedures. What are parameters? Parameters are a way to communicate with the stored procedures. There are two types of parameters, input parameters and output parameters. What do input and output parameters in stored procedures do? Input parameters, they help the caller pass the value to stored procedure. Output parameters, they help the stored procedure to pass the value to the caller. What is SQL DML? SQL means structured query language. DML means data manipulation language. SQL is a syntax to insert, delete and update records and execute queries. These queries and update commands together form DML. Following are the commands which are used. Select. It is used to extract data from database table. Update. It is used to update data in a database table. Delete. It deletes data from the database table. Insert into. It inserts data into a database table.